forecast. Well, good afternoon. Happy Friday to you. And as you make your weekend plans, the weather's looking pretty good out there this weekend. Although we will have the potential of a shower or two in the area, especially Sunday, but certainly not a washout. It's going to be hot and sticky too all weekend long. Let's take a look outdoors and we certainly were feeling the heat today. All that sunshine this afternoon across uh, the coastal bend, especially in Corpus Christi, bumping us to 91 degrees. It feels like temperature at 103 and then 90 degrees right now at Kingsville feeling like 99. Now there were a couple of showers that developed today. You can see not very many as expected, uh, but right now there is a small area of rain heading toward Kingsville. You can see this is moving toward the west, so it will move into Kingsville within the next 15-20 minutes along Highway 77. But otherwise it's pretty dry out there and tomorrow I think it'll be very similar with temperatures hitting into the low 90s in the afternoon. The feels like temperature right around 3 o'clock in Corpus Christi, 103. So it's going to be a sticky hot day, lots of sunshine. There is an isolated shower chance though tomorrow. It's not completely ruled out, but most of the day will be dry. If you're heading to the beach tomorrow, the high tide's in the morning at 9.56, that low tide at 5.46. So tide will be going out after 10 o'clock in the morning. And those temperatures at the beaches with all the sunshine, upper 80s tomorrow. The rip current risk is low, but please use caution in the water uh, regardless. The water temperature is warm at 88 and that wave height is right around two to three feet. Alrighty, here's a look at the temperatures then. Starting off in the morning in the mid to upper 70s tomorrow, the afternoon quite hot, hitting 93 by 3 o'clock in Corpus Christi, 94 Robstown, 96 George West, and in the upper 80s to near 90 right along the coastline. Tomorrow night dropping down into those mid to upper 70s uh, inland near 80 at the coast and then Sunday a degree or two cooler but still pretty hot out there Sunday and again we do have the potential of a few showers let me show you that with future tracker uh, you can see this is tomorrow morning look at all that sunshine and tomorrow looks like a pretty dry day but a couple of isolated showers you can see try and develop later in the day especially in our northern counties B Live Oak and Refugio counties um, now as we get into tomorrow night and Sunday is drier but then as we go through the day Sunday in the daytime heating and we have a little upper level wave coming in and the moisture increases slightly there'll be the potential of I'm calling it widely scattered t thunder showers Sunday certainly not a washout the kind you just wait to pass by and then you'll be drying out again um, but nevertheless, I do think we'll have some around Sunday. Drying out, though, by the time we get to fireworks time. Look at that. 9 o'clock in the evening. It looks good. So your 4th of July is looking uh, pretty nice out there. Temperatures reaching the low 90s. We do have that isolated uh, shower chance. And the wind, not too strong. Up to 15 miles an hour. And by fireworks time for the mayor's Big Bang 4th of July celebration, it looks good. 85 degrees as the fireworks are going off. All right, we're keeping an eye on the first hurricane of the season. Hurricane Elsa formed. It's a Category 1 storm and moved across the Leeward Islands, now uh, continuing to move into the Caribbean. As a Category 1 hurricane, winds up to 105 miles an hour, gusts are at this time. Now, this is forecast to continue to be a Category 1 hurricane as it moves south of uh, Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic and brushes Cuba. And then it's forecast to weaken a little bit as it gets into the Gulf, and it still has its eyes set on Florida. It looks like the west coast of Florida by t late Tuesday and into Wednesday. So Tuesday, Wednesday time frame, that's when it's going to be impacting the Sunshine State. What are we looking at from that? Well, it doesn't look like it's coming here, but again, we'll keep an eye on it. But what we will see later next week are higher swells by next Thursday or Friday and a higher rip current risk. We'll keep you updated on that. All right, there's your seven-day forecast then. Uh, seasonal weekend ahead. Uh, shower chances increase, especially early next week, becoming more numerous with tropical showers likely by Wednesday. Tuesday and Wednesday, some of those could produce heavy rain and temperatures will come down. Greg?